That guy is seeing me first. All right, all right. Hmm. Leafers and vines. Let me watch him. Goodness. How am I supposed to time this right? This is getting insane. Utterly insane, people. Leafers and vines. Oh, come on! She must be alerting as soon as I take it and turning around. This is a pain in the butt. May him feed us. Lady Lord Watchers. <gasps> Nope. Wasn't her that time either. The the other asshole turned again. I just can't quite get the timing. Beefy Lord protect us. Beefy Lord watches over us. <laughs> Although now this looks like a great opportunity to Seize <laughs> ah. Only green down there. So I got this done at least. The goblet, the knife, the broadheads, and the ruby up here. I got all that done with only green alerts. That's good. Sure. <laughs> I'd be jumped at nothing. Okay, okay. That was only greens. That's good. Let's try this again. Nope. Well, that's progress at least. I got to the awning or the overhang with only greens. May wide. Woods. Damn. All right, well, the dude is about to move again. The three pagans staring at it should make it obvious that the other exit is not an option. Leafy Lord, protect us. Oh, not nows. I just a little squirrely. Eat shit, assholes. I do want to pickpocket her wand, too, but I think that'll be a little easier. So, what that did was complete an objective I didn't actually have yet, which was obtain the magic amulet belonging to the pagan priestess Diane, who is in Aldale Park. We got a new objective. Use Diane's magic amulet to open the pump house, then lower the water level so you can enter the canal. We saw that you crud. So close. So close. I think the guy's about to move. Maybe not. Huh? Big bees again. Uh oh. Ah! Here's me a sound. Are you kidding?
So they hear me drop the wand in the leaves, even though they can't hear me jump. Oh well. You never quite know, do you? Nope. Is there a picky pocketer around? Goodsy day, friend. Fine, let's just drop it with the good old glitch. I've had enough of this. I am ready to leave these pagan douchebags behind. Is there newsing from Diane? Goodsy. Later, assholes. Hmm. My eyes be tired, I guess. Oh, come on! It's never quite that simple. I don't care about greens in here anymore. It's just... It's seriously like they just decided to pack it with a ridiculous number of AIs and then... You bees just jumpity. Let's pack a work, okay? see what happened. Okay. Got here. Why do we wait? Bee's not coming in here, city head. She still doesn't alert, which is good. All right. Pagan territory is clear, and thank goodness. That's worth a real save to me. What a pain in the butt that was. All right. We'll get out of here the same way we did yesterday. Still got the drunk guard standing outside the pub. So we'll go all the way up and over. Down. Up. And over. Now we gotta try to get around, which is the hardest part. But, thankfully, is doable. Yeah, back up the wall. So we can climb over, do it, and climb down. Might as well stop in to see the fence. You know, I have a tailor friend. I only mention it. Back to the entrance to Aldale, and then we'll head the other way. Now that we have Diane's amulet. We can open the pump house, which in turn will allow us to lower the water level in the canals and ultimately get into Gamal's Lair. Gamal's Lair is not a new mission, it's just a side area, much like the Abysmal Gale or Fort Ironwood. So we'll clear it out as part of day eight. I guess the pagans aren't hostile to me. Not enough to alert anyway, which is fine with me. Okay, up here. I imagine this watchman is still here. There's no reason for him not to be. Hey. Yep. All right. Something going on? Sorry, Gov. Jimmy still has his key, which he does. Uh, 
Alrighty. So let's mantle up by that statue like we did yesterday. Get the broadhead arrow here, the fire arrow and the torch. Let's mantle up behind Jimmy the Knife. Get his key and the broadhead here at the Bradshaw. Come on, G. There we go. This dude is still procedural, so... Next, let's clear the goldsmiths the same way we did yesterday. Still don't feel like murdering Jimmy the Knife, so... Let's get in through this grating. Not sure what, if anything, respawns in here. Not the cat statue. All right, looks like we got a gold fork, a gold knife, copper urn, and diamond necklace that respawn in the goldsmiths. With all that nabbed, we're done here. So let's move toward the museum. Actually doing the pump house, I'm gonna save until I clear the rest of the streets. Just cause that, you know, that opens new areas. I wanna save that till I've got all the old crap cleared. Oh, just right over the canal, down here. Get to this niche, just like we did before. Out behind him, just like we did before. Broadhead on the crate, just like before. Let's get the gas arrow up here to my left. Let's get this moss arrow. Huh, no watchman up at the museum. How odd. I'll wait for him to turn around, then I'm going to go after that gas arrow up there. Stay on this edge, creep around. Head to the corner, get the gas arrow, and it should be able to just drop down. Now let's clear out the tunnel, even though we, we will be headed here later today. Let's go ahead and clear it out now. Copper knife, same as before, broadhead arrow, and two mines in the chest. All the same as before. Yeah. 
Get out of there. There we go. Alright, now all Dale is clear, save the canal and Gamal's lair, so let's wait till we spot this guy and follow him back out to the pump house. Pagans, we bees closing off them manful pump house. Diane had a visioning, bees an abomination that lives in them canals. Stay a ways. As long as them water level in the canals stays high, not lowered, then no pagans or city heads can go down into them canal and cause trouble with them abomination. Bees you need her to get into them pump house, then seek you Diane in them Greensy Park. She hevers them trickster amulet that makers them vines go away. Larkspur. Okay, well once we read that, we would get the objective we've already completed to grab Diane's amulet. So when we approach the door with the amulet in hand, the vines will burn away, allowing us to open the door. I can then turn the wheel to lower the water level and get down into the canals. So, what's down here? I don't know. One water arrow. One copper nugget over here under the pagan territory. Let's just take care to stay unseen. like we got a copper coin here worth 25. There we go. And one last water arrow. And this is the load zone that will take us into Gamal's lair. Let's go in. I should point out, by the way, that inside the pump house was the 15th and final rust mite. So now, we've completed, use Diane's magic amulet to open the pump house, then lower the water level so you can enter the canal. We've completed, go to Aldale, figure out where Gabal's hidden lair is located, then break into it. So let's do a real save here. Like I said, I have not done a practice run, so I don't really know what to expect. Let's just be careful. Seems pretty tame right now. What can we find in here? Silver fork, worth 50. Awesome. Uh, this room's empty. Alright, what's through here? Stairway. Come on, G. He has trouble with stairs sometimes. Another door. Okay, I hear statues now. The Glyph of Unbinding. I must keep you here with me. Secret, yes. Unbinder. You are the undoer, the unwriter. 
So easily can you destroy my stone warriors. So easily do you unwrite the glyphs that animate them. Why must you exist? You are like the last of all glyphs, a terror to me. But here in my lair, my home, my den, here you can do no harm. Garrett would want to see you, take you, use you. Yes, with your power he would fear my stone soldiers no more. One hit with his cursed blackjack, his bludgeon to the back of the head of my minions, and they would crumble. But that will not happen. You, Glyph of Unbinding, you will sit unused, unseen, unsung. So that, of course, gives me a new objective. Find and obtain the Glyph of Unbinding, which can be used to destroy Gamal's statues. So, I saw this guy is wearing a Jade Tiara, worth 50. Yeah, no map, no surprise. Chronicles of Dagar, Epilogue. Imagine our great excitement at finding the new glyph. Somersault was the first to discover its secrets, but it wasn't long before our excitement grew to concern, then fear. Fear for the future, fear that the glyph could fall into the hands of an unbalanced mind. For we keepers are human, and humans have weaknesses. With no way to destroy it, we enshrined it, sealed it with all manner of glyphs, and have set down these words to speak to the future. Do not heed the call of the glyph of transmutation, the glyph that can be used to steal another's form. Do not seek to unlock the seals that hold it. Let it sit forever unused, and most of all may balance be with us, the four entrusted with this terrible knowledge, task, and burden. Signed, Keepers Dagar, Somersault, Gamal, and Vandalin. Uh-huh. Alright, no surprise there. I'm not sure what way to go. I'll, I'll try in here first. Got a book. The Letters of Diocesan, Book 5, to the Council. I am nearing the end of my ability to serve as interpreter. My apprentice, Katika, though blind, is highly gifted. She should be my successor when my time is ended. For the future, the prophecies are clear and rife with warnings. With the help of the young acolyte that shows thievery over us, we shall eventually overcome the first two trials. Then a third dark age will approach, but here the glyphs are not so clear. Interpreting this third trial will be Katika's life work and her eventual undoing. She knows this and accepts her fate with dignity and balance. Interpreter Diason. To the Council. This will be my last missive. The glyphs have taken all from me. I hope my efforts have not been in vain and that my warnings have not fallen on deaf ears. I await a resolution on the matter of the glyphs I have postulated. If there is a glyph of transmutation, then there is terrible danger. A shapeshifter glyph would be too much a temptation for any keeper. We must scour the old texts for any references to such a glyph. It is possible that early keepers found it but that the knowledge was lost, and it is how that knowledge might have come to be lost that brings me great unrest. Interpreter Diocen. So we got an oil flask on the mantelpiece up here. I really don't know the layout of this place at all, so... I'm just trying to be careful. Well, it sounds like there's definitely a statue in the next room. Alright, very good. In here, silver candlestick worth 50. No, I saw a fire arrow in the fireplace.
Alright, got my fire arrow, and uh, I believe I saw the Builder's Chalice hanging out over here with another book. Indeed I did. Always the thief, his name always in the prophecies, and where is mine? Am I not just as terrible? Am I not even more fearsome? I must animate my army in more numbers than before. He will not fulfill his destiny. How many times am I going to steal this thing? Let's try this. Alright, let's... Let's try for the other door first. Alright, that was a green alert, and I very much doubt it's a necessary green alert, so... Let's just go right when he turns his back. Looks like we're in a bedroom. The chest has a health potion and a silver goblet. That's another 50. Two more books in here. Final glyph, last of all glyphs, cross-check for other names used. Sentience, crown, where, check Catechus notes on Propheticus. Lost beyond time, under the above world. Translation incorrect, recheck source. Landmarks, must be significant. Relationship to artifacts, Aldale Plaza, Bradshaw Monument. Heart, Stone Market proper, Clock Tower. Chalice, crown, Old Quarter, near Fort Ironwood. Docks, South Quarter Fountain. Research historical significance. I equals exhibit in Wealdstrom Museum. Ancient keepers equals were present when the city was built. Earliest writings. Check oldest history texts. Why giant? Could it be the streets themselves? Which streets were built already? Which are the oldest landmarks? Oldest district? Recheck the texts. Cross-check compendium against failsafe or ancient failsafe. How did ancient keepers refer to final glyph? Gamal's journal. My efforts have met with obstacles, hindrances, delays, but there is a benefit to having Garrett alive. He can easily do what I cannot. The thief, the sneak. I know everything and he knows nothing. My success is assured. It is time for recollection, retrospect. Decades, centuries passed. I remember the day Somersault found the glyph, my glyph. And I knew, even I signed the covenant never to touch it, that it would be mine. It called to me. It sang me its song. Then it was foolish, trusting Vandalin who shared with us his insight to use the glyphs against the accelerated aging, and it worked, better than I hoped, and now I am more than any of them could have imagined. Of the recent past, the child Laurel, whose form I used to hide from the others for so long, sealed her grave with the glyphs so that her skin would be mine for as long as I needed, wanted it. How did she escape? I still am unsure. And Orland, so easily manipulated by the letters, signed with a C, any other would have unearthed my simple ploy. How easy it has been to remove from the libraries the books that refer to me. And now for the future. I surmise that there are others following my path, my destiny. All they lack is the glyph of transmutation. And when the time comes, I will give it to them, my brethren, and more. I am become glyphs. The time of secrets is almost over. A new age approaches. They say she used to be human. But whatever she was, Gamal's a monster now.
Seems like better timing for my attempt to get to this hallway. Let me just see if there's anything in here. like the answer is no. Amazingly enough, the answer is no. So, I'll pick the lock on the little door straight to the straight to the left since it seems like I have oodles of time. Oh, I don't even have to pick the lock. How about that? I was gonna say it seems too good to be true for this to be empty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do we get that goblet? If we have to, we can gas the torch next to the statue. Of course, gas won't do anything to the statue, and it allows us to extinguish torches silently, which is awesome. And it looks like I'll, that's probably what I'll have to do. Oh, no, he actually patrols. Okay, good. That's even better. I thought he was stationary until he spotted me, but no, he will come out of his little niche and do some patrolling, so I can turn left and get into those shadows. Looks like he will start a patrol, but not until I've at least green alerted him. Alright, there's a loot alert, which I don't really care about. There was a fire arrow in the torch. I don't care about loot alerts, like I've said before. Let's see what's up here. now. I thought I told you I don't like being followed. Our separate paths have converged, Garrett. We both seek the same thing. Hmm. I suppose if you were working for Gamal, you would have tried to kill me just now. Tried, I would have succeeded. Look around us, Garrett. This is Gamal's secret library. Here she has been lurking, plotting, and for much longer than just one lifetime. She has used the glyphs to extend her life. And there's more. You've been reading, Artemis. Yes, we are fortunate. In these books, Gamal has documented her plans carefully. But the meaning of that map... 
It's not yet clear to me. Chalice, crown. These things are marked with the names of the artifacts. These books, some have been missing for months, some maybe years. She does not say what the final glyph does, only that she will become undefeatable once she... The Aldale Plaza, the South Quarter Fountain. Well, now we know what to do with the artifacts once we have them. They fit into those landmarks somehow. She has been gaining knowledge while our ignorance grew. Do the books say where she is now? The remaining treasures they are at the museum. She hopes to gather them all at once. And when she has them, she'll activate this... the last of all glyphs. No, no. The books are very clear on that. She intends to destroy it. When she has all the treasures, she'll have the power to do just that. The last glyph is the only thing she fears. Well, that and you, my friend. Destroy it? But that's what Orland and the others told me to do. Half-truths from the Keepers? Why am I not surprised? For the Council to still employ subterfuge, with all that's at stake. I will go to Orlan myself and get the truth from him. You should go to the museum and steal the remaining artifacts before Gamal gets to them. Then let us meet back at Stone Market Plaza. And Garrett, if you come face to face with Gamal, you must understand. With her power over glyphs, she is all but indestructible. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Artemis? Boy, I sure hope there's nothing in here that's gonna nail me, since it just teleported me to the center of the room when I was creeping along a balcony. I hate that garbage. I want to get back up to that balcony. Well, maybe not right away. Alright, what do we got over here? We got a book. The Glyph of Unbinding, I must keep you here with me. Secret, yes. Unbinder, you were the undoer, the unwriter. So easily can you destroy my stone warrior. So easily do you unwrite the glyphs that animate them. Why must you exist? You are like the last of all glyphs, a terror to me. But here in my lair, my home, my den, here you can do no harm. Garrett would want to see you, take you, use you, yes. With your power, he would fear my stone soldiers no more. One hit with his cursed blackjack, his bludgeon, to the back of the head of my minions, and they would crumble. But that will not happen. You, Glyph of Unbinding, you will sit unused, unseen, unsung. Oh, new upgrade acquired. The glyph will, this glyph will allow you to destroy Gamal's statue minions. Blackjack them. Alright, well, that's pretty straightforward. That completes the objective. Find and obtain the Glyph of Unbinding, which can be used to destroy Gamal's statues. We also completed Search Gamal's Lair for clues about the final glyph and why she wants the artifacts. Let's read the book out at the central table now. My quest for the five artifacts. I now have two of the five. The chalice and the jackmal's paw were easy. In my capacity as puppeteer for the fool Orland, I was able to have Garrett do the work to acquire them. Then, when my true nature was revealed, it was a trifle to remove them from the keepers to the safety of my den, my lair. For the heart and the eye, they are attention seekers, and this has brought them both to the Wieldstrom Museum, where they pass as ordinary displays. There they feed their desire to wound, to entrap, to pollute the minds of susceptible humans. The eye is fueled by the flesh eye of my adversary. I wonder what that sentient will have to say to me when I finally hold it in my hands. I wonder if it can comprehend what I have become. As for the location of the crown, for so long the glyphs were frustratingly silent. Until recently, when it was made clear the crown too has arrived at the Wieldstrom. This brings me extraordinarily close to my goal, my quest it is, as if the sentients wish for me to find them. Now I must proceed to the museum and steal, possess, acquire the remaining sentients. It is time for all secrets to be made known. I'll take green alerts. 
because, you know, it stuck me in the middle of a room. Uh-oh. Crash. I hate that shit. Sorry, folks, my game crashed. Here we go. Still need to finish clearing out Gamal's lair. I'd like to see if I can get to that book without a green alert. I think I should be able to. Easily enough. Yes, much better. Damn. I think I came into this room on the balcony on the other side. And it shouldn't be too hard to get back there. Hey, look, a fine portrait worth 150. Anything up here? No. Well, I'd wager... I mean, I know where that balcony door goes. It just goes to the other side of that garden. Of the other balcony door probably only goes to the other upper level of that garden I've already been to. And... That was annoying. If Garrett had just mantled, he would have been fine. But no, he... He had to jump. Again! Why can't he just mantle? I swear. Do you know why I'm getting so frustrated, viewers? It doesn't even have anything to do with the game. It is blisteringly hot in my apartment today. It's making me quite cranky, so I'm sorry about that. It would be great to move in behind the statue as soon as it turns and walks away again. <laughs> there we go! Mantling! Not that hard, G. Oh, but I guess the balcony is the only good way out. That's fine. Obviously, that's a bad time to bust my move. I don't have as much time as I thought I did. Uh. 
I remember him standing there a long time, so that... There we go. Now we're back up here. Is there anything up here? No. Actually, there's not. Let's head back out here. Remember what's underneath me. Be careful of it. Nope. I'd prefer a mantle, but... Much like the first two games, Garrett just despises mantling for whatever reason. Just a green, I'll take it. <sighs> Alright, I see the paw down there. See some loot shining over there, too. Well, let's nab those two things. Got it again. Whatever it is. Alright, so that completes the objective. Steal back both the chalice and the paw from Gamal's lair. So our objectives now are break into the museum in order to steal the remaining artifacts before Gamal does. When you have all the artifacts, meet Artemis in Tursa's Courtyard in Stone Market Plaza. Alrighty. I can... move in on that other bit of loot I see, and I think that'll be it. The Jade Ring. Worth 50. I could destroy these guys, but that would hardly be sporting. Oh, hey, look! I remember this room. We're done. We're out of here. Pow. Alright, let's head for the museum then. Head for the last mission, if you can believe that. So we head out to Aldale. All we have to do is get to Ma Graham's tunnel into the museum, and we can start the very last mission. And then the game ends after that on a city hub. Day 9 is the end game. Which annoys me a little, but... Ah oh well. Let's do a real save out here, now that we're back in Aldale. Our job remains pretty simple. Just get back up through the pump house. Since I failed to actually point him out to you, there is the 15th and final rust mite. Huh? Did I hear that? Nothing. Just imagined it. I've been taking green alerts, so whatever, I'll take that one too. I'm just ready for this to be over. So I'll move out behind this watchman. That should be the last step before I can 
Let's bust it over to the museum. Here, of course, is the museum. Out for a walk. Yes, indeed. For a brisk stroll. Taking the air, treading the stones, walking, walking. Yes, indeed. I'd like to close that grate behind me if I could. Alright, down we go. And then floating right here is the last mission sigil. That's it for day eight in the city. I will see you next time for the game's final mission, Still Life with Blackjack. That's it for now. Bye-bye.